I picked up this very nice, nice server. Because for a while now, my file structure has just been complete trash. So I wanted to centralize all my data that is on my computer over there. I have two operating systems and I have a laptop right here. So if I could just have all this data on this little NAS server right here, as opposed to having it on this external hard drive and a couple hard drives inside there and who knows where else, I think it'll make my life a little bit easier. I mean, just look at this. I have my local disk with my operating system with some space there, 269 gigabytes, M.2. I have my YouTube M.2, one terabyte filled. I have my regular SSD, quarter of a terabyte filled. I have two partitions on my external hard drive, one terabyte each filled. Okay, we still have a little bit from here, but and before I do anything, I actually have to take it apart. Oh, that was fancy. I don't know if you can see that, but it just like popped right out. So it was real nice to slide on up. Okay, so the actual reason I need to take this apart is because by default, back here is a one gigabit per second NIC and I decided to opt for the uh, 10 gigabit per second NIC so I just have to set that in there and install it in here there we go there we go there's no way I'm using any of that footage because it's born as hell well except for like talking about the ethernet stuff now to search through my bag of goodies which is this it no which appears to not have my extra long ethernet cable okay i actually have another bag of goodies that i see it in <laughs> it's oh wait where did i see it okay down this way so uh, i did not put this up very well but uh so this is really my only issue and you can see how it's kind of an issue where I have to make my way all the way out to my router. I really should hardwire it under the house, but I've kind of been saying that since I moved in. Puppy. Uh-huh. Phew, that's loud. Oh. No, it's quiet now. I gotta connect it here. It may not be recognizing the nick I put in there, so I'm gonna have to see if I can change that. Yes, yes, maybe. Okay, so I switched the ethernet connection, didn't work. Disabled the firewall, worked. So I'm gonna connect, and I'm going to have to reconnect to see if I can I can connect on the 10 gigabyte NIC. Uh, otherwise, I'll just have to go into the network settings on the assistant, and I believe I can change it up. Okay, so I will I will have to go back in the network settings to make sure it works on the NIC. For right now, I'm just gonna change it. I actually just decided to forget the router connection for now and connect it directly to my motherboard. However, 10 gigabit NIC, one gigabit NIC. I misread the specs on the motherboard when I was doing my research. We got chickens outside running around. It's been raining here for like a week straight. Finally, no cloud in the sky, but there's water everywhere. DSM on your reinstall, install now. 10 minutes. What can I do for 10 minutes? Okay, now what? Ah, I started clicking, now everything's red, but we're ready to go. Server name. All right, now the fun begins. This is how my current main M.2 hard drive sits. It's dual booted with Windows and Linux, has all my apps, and then everything else is just storage. I mentioned earlier I have M.2, M.2, SSD, HDD, and an external hard drive. This is what I want it to be. I want my main M.2 to have Windows and apps in whatever my current project is. I want my secondary M.2 to have Linux in apps in whatever my current project over there is. So it'll be dual booted, but they'll be on their own respective hard drives. And then I have everything else on the NAS as well as the current project being backed up on the NAS. So that effectively makes the SSD, 
the hard disk drive and the EHD completely obsolete. I'll probably not use them, but I'll keep them in the computer anyway. But this right here, all of this, that is what I want my overall computer file structure to be. My only problem is I don't know what I'm doing. So I can't seem to get this drive to initialize. I've tried different trays, I've tried different actual slots and it's just not initialized. I don't know what the exact problem is here. But for now, I'm just gonna create a new storage pool with three drives and then I'll expand this drive once I get that fixed or get a new one. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. And so we wait, transferring everything over to the NAS server. And then I got a backup of Windows and Linux, but I'll save that for tomorrow. It's the next day, haven't even had my coffee yet, so don't judge me, but we have about 17 minutes remaining. There's quite a few files on that one. We're only running at, at 100 megabits per second, mega, megabytes per second. And last night I was actually thinking, whereas before, what I wanted to do was Windows and apps, Linux and apps, and then everything else. Well, okay, this is still a good idea. What if I took out the second second M.2? So I don't dual boot on this computer, but I take out the second M.2 or the SSD, something that'll fit in the Synology, something fast, not a disk drive. And I install my Arch Linux virtual machine on that so I can remotely access it on my laptop, but I can also locally access it on my computer. That just may fix my problem. Well, everything appears to check out. This is everything on the NAS. You can see that it was created Tuesday, February 16th. And everything else is its equivalent from which it was copied. So 225, 225, 587, 587, 588, whatever. 354, 354, 511, 511, 106, 106. So looks like we're good on that front and I can get to reformatting all of those other drives whenever I want. So call me crazy, but I've decided to actually just go ahead and format my Arch Linux because I don't have any files on there that I'm really worried about and I'm rebuilding an entirely fresh Arch Linux as we speak. So I don't think I need any of this. And this is a swap drive. Can I just extend the volume? All right, I need a staples button because that was easy. All right, I'm pretty stoked. I'm happy to see everything is in one area. So we have overall Windows backup and this should contain everything and properties. Yeah, we have about 436 gigabytes taken up, which is exactly what's on my computer. And then we have all of my YouTube footage from random footage to 2019 YouTube, 2020 YouTube, 2021. And you can see it over on this side. I just want to navigate through. We have all the random footage. We have the 2019 footage, all the videos from that year. We have the 2020 footage, all the videos and videos that didn't make it from that year. And then the 2021 videos and some other footage that I have for 2021. Now an overview look, we have 18% taken up so we have 3.1 terabytes used out of 17 and a half terabytes, which is out of 30 terabytes, whereas 12 and a half are being used as redundancy. And remember, we still have this one not initialized drive that I'm actually going to be getting sent a new one from Seagate. So not a problem there. The volume, 
storage pool, nice. I figured out what I'm gonna do for Arch Linux. I will be running it as a virtual machine on here, not on the disk drive though, on an SSD. Inside here, you can see that there are two M.2 NVMe slots. However, those are only for SSD caching. So what I'm gonna do is pop open the six bay, throw in my SSD in here, and that is what's going to hold my Arch Linux virtual machine that I'll be able to access directly on this computer, as well as remotely on my laptop. And I will actually be throwing in my secondary M.2 that I no longer really have that much of a use for in here for SSD caching. So this is gonna be a pretty sick rig. I wanna thank all of y'all for watching. This is one of my more favorite videos that I've made. Just, I just like this type of video and I'd love to be able to do it with other aspects of what I do, like coding and like putting together the Arch Linux system. I hope y'all joined the community if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe button. And if you made it this far and you liked the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up for the algorithm. Not to just make myself feel good, although, I guess it does kind of help, and I'll see y'all next week.